Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing the topic of what? Of the collector feedback biasing. But this time what is the case? This time we have a, an emitter resistance included as well. So which means the emitter terminal is not solidly grounded. You have what? You have an emitter resistance first and then it is grounded. So, so this is RE and the current flowing is IE which is of course equal to IC plus IB. The analysis is the same. Is the, 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 the rest of the analysis is about the same. You have I what the, 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 the collector current is not directly this supply I that that you know I see is not the current that is flowing through the uh, through the RC okay so the current that is flowing through RC is I fine which is what by KVL which is IB plus IC so this is again from the previous video you know it okay fine now what do you have is again we would be applying the input KVL input KVL I mean what that KVL to input loop this is what you need to write properly okay so you have what VCC minus IB uh, plus IC right so minus IB RC and then IC is equal to beta times IB so I would just write it directly IC is equal to beta times IB so you have a minus beta times IB RC fine yes then you have what minus IB RB minus VBE and then minus IE RE so what have they done with the IE IE is beta plus 1 times IB right yes so IE is beta plus 1 times IB beta plus 1 times IB RE and this is set to 0 yes yes IE is equal to beta plus 1 times IB you know this IE is beta plus 1 times IB now what do we have to do we have to find the value of IB from here we have to find the value of IB from here so what do you have we have VCC IB is let's say taken common from here IB is let's say taken common from here so you have what you have RC minus beta times rc plus beta times rc and then you have what minus rb and then you have what plus uh, wait wait this is not minus this is plus plus rb plus uh, beta plus one times uh, re and you have minus vbe and this is equal to zero volts isn't it fine it is you can do uh, further what can you do further what can you do out of this you could take rc common so beta plus one times rc beta plus one times rc right yes so you have what you have vcc minus ib into what beta plus one times rc plus beta plus one times rb re and RB is separate minus VBE and this is equal to 0 RB is separate yes it is so from here you can have the value of IB so IB comes out to be what IB comes out to be VCC minus a VBE and this is divided by divided by what beta plus RB plus a beta plus 1 is taken common RC plus R E. Fine? Yes, sir. Now, what would be the case? If you have I, IB, you can find out IC through beta times IB only if this is in the active region and we are considering it as the active region. So, directly put IC is equal to beta times IB. Okay? Yes. Now, for VCE, what do you have? You have to apply the KVL to the output loop. KVL to output loop. What would be the case? VCC minus IB plus IC times RC minus VCE minus IE times RE and again you can say this is IB plus IC 
times a R E and this is set to zero volts. So you can take this I B plus I C common, right? So you have a V C C minus I B plus I C is taken common. You have what R C plus R E. R C plus R E minus a V C E equal to zero. So V C E is what? V C E comes out to be uh, V C C minus a I B plus I C times what? R C plus R E. And isn't it like this? Just let me check. I, I B plus I C, yes, of course. And a base current is a very small, so you can just uh, uh, neglect it, for instance. Is that fine? It is. They have I C is approximately equal to I E, okay? You can use I C is approximately equal to I E over here as I B is very small. If I B, is, you can say, you can say that I B is very small so this would imply what that ie is approximately equal to ic so in place of this ib plus ic you can only use ic as well fine yes it is fine stability factor so in the previous one i gave it to you as an as a homework that was without the emitter resistance and now and in the header i have not given with the, this time this is with the emitter resistance so let us do it okay in this case i will do it myself i have it written for me over here because this is this derivative thing is very difficult for me so you take the derivative of what you take the derivative of this equation of the input kvl equation so what do you have you would have a zero minus rc minus derivative uh, minus rc times the derivative of IB with respect to IC minus RB DIB DIC minus 0 minus RE check it in a proper order with that minus RE times DIB DIC and this is equal to set it equal to zero fine so from here if you calculate this calculate it for yourself okay the derivative of IB with respect to IC this would come out to be negative of RC plus RE divided by RC plus RB plus RE RC plus RB plus a RE so if you have a look if you have a look this is the sum of the resistances through which the current ic is passing ic is passing through this and these are the sum of the resistances through which ib are passing so you can remember it in this particular fashion similarly in the previous ones if i have not mentioned some sort of this you can you can you know uh, uh, remember it in that particular fashion through some way you put this you put this in the stability factor directly you put this in the stability factor directly you come to know again that this is quite less than 1 plus beta this is very much less than 1 plus beta the stability factor would be what it would be a 1 uh, plus beta upon upon this thing 1 minus beta times this is the thing so 1 minus beta so negative negative would come over here you have rc plus re divided by rb plus rc plus re you can do what you can do the simplification for yourself you can do the simplification for yourself the major thing is that you have got till this point this is again far less than one plus beta because this is being divided by quite a big number again so this is again quite a stable configuration this is quite a stable configuration the system is stable but the rb is acting as a feedback so due to this the gain reduces due to this the gain reduces so due to rb you, this is stable this is stable but this is stable but due to rb the gain reduces and this is an issue with this the gain reduces why the gain reduces because some sample of output is being fed back to the input side yes yes 
So what can we do is you can divide this resistance, the base resistance into two parts and connect a capacitor over here. Yes, let me show you. Let me show you what is the case if this is your transistor, right? So what can you do is you can just divide your base resistance into two parts like this. This is your base resistance and connect a capacitor. Connect a capacitor over here. So what do you have in AC? The capacitor would be short circuited. AC would imply what that the capacitor is short circuited, right? Yes. So what would be the case? So the current would flow through the ground. The current would flow through the ground. All the current. This capacitor is shorted. So the current would flow through the ground. Yes? Yes. So which means the current over here would be 0 amperes. Which means the current entering the base would be 0. <coughs> Sorry. So I through base would be 0 amperes. Right? And this implies what? That you would have no feedback. So to, 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 emit, to emit the feedback phenomena, what do you do? You install a capacitor. The thing is again the same. This is the capacitor over here. Input signal is applied over here. Output, take, output is taken over here. You may also have a bypass capacitor connected in parallel with RE. Let's say we have an example from the book. Let's say we have an example from where? From the book. 4.12. 4.12 what does it state determine the quiescent levels the q point is unknown q point is unknown what is given given is vcc is 10 volts rc is a 4.7 kilo ohms rb is 250 kilo ohms and RE is 1.2 kilo ohms. So what can you do? Beta is 90. Beta is 90. Solution. Can you not solve it by yourself? IB is equal to VCC minus VBE 10 minus 0 0.7 divided by RB. 250k plus beta plus 191 times rc plus re 4.7 plus 250k the value of ib comes out to be ib comes out to be 11.91 micro amperes 11.91 micro amperes ic would be what ic would be beta 90 11.9 into 10 to the negative 6 IC comes out to be IC comes out to 1.07 milliamperes 1.07 milliamperes uh, VCE VCE is what VCE would be VCC is 10 minus IB plus IC so IB is in micro region you can just check it in into the milli 1 2 and 3 0 0.01 1 plus 1.07 milli RC plus RE RC is 4.7 kilo plus RE is 1.2 kilo VCE comes out to be 3.7 volts 3.7 volts the Q point is what VCE Q which is 3.7 I I C is I I C Q this these are the coordinates of your Q point Okay, in the next example, what is the case? In the next example, they say to repeat the same thing for a beta equal to 135. So they made a 50% difference and beta is equal to 135. You check. So a 50% difference in this would result in a very less difference. Let me just give you the final values. The final values would come out to be 2.92 and 1.2. 2.92 and 1.2 milliamperes. So the book has written a point over here is that even though beta is increased 50%, beta is increased how much? 50%. And then you have what the level of ICQ only increased 12%. IC increased what? IC increased by 12%. And the voltage decreased by 20%. Voltage decreased by 
percent. If the same was the case, if the beta was increased by 50 percent for a for a fixed bias configuration, a 50 percent increase would beta would result in a 50 percent increase of current and a dramatic change of Q point. So have a look 12 percent in the collector feedback configuration and if this beta was increased for a fixed bias configuration by 50 percent a 50 percent change of current would have occurred and you could imagine the change of uh, the Q point right yes so this is showing you the relative stability with respect to that configuration right similarly you've got the next example so in the next example what do you have is you have uh, uh, again the same thing but RB is a combination of the two so I told you over here that you have divided this so similarly they have divided this over here this one is a 91 kilo ohms and this one is a 110 kilo ohms so what do you do for the analysis what will you do is that you will take the RB as the sum of the two that is 91 plus 110 kilo ohms whatever it is and you will do this as way the calculations this capacitor is included over here but this would for ac this would become open circuited so i have explained this point over here you do not need to confuse it you do the uh, example over here for yourself the saturation current ic saturation over here would be what when vbe is equal to zero volts right yes so that would come out to be ic max ic saturation would be vcc upon rc plus a re simplified right simplified and then you have an example on the load line analysis let me do that let me do that ic is beta times ib right so beta plus one rc is five greater than this one so and beta plus one is approximately equal to beta so beta beta would cancel out ic would come out to be what IC would come out to be what I will write over here. IC would come out to be VCC minus a VBE divided by RC plus RE. RC plus a RE, right? Now, IC saturation would be one. IC saturation is the maximum current. IC maximum, this would happen when VBE is equal to zero volt. So, this would be VCC upon RC plus a re this is the case you can find out the value of this for each of the examples right yes let us do an example of the load line analysis given the network the network is given to determine the dc beta in the center region of the characteristics so you can find out vce you can find out wait 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 let me let me just show you let me rub this let me have a little space let me have a little space. What is given is, is, a, is a transistor configuration. A transistor configuration is given such again in this sort of a fashion. So example, I would consider this that VCC is 36 volts. VCC is 36. Then what do you have? Uh, RC is 2.7 kilo ohms. RB is what? It's 360 plus 150. RB is 360 plus 150. So how much would this be? 460, 510, right? 510 kilo ohms. Then you have what? RE is 330 ohms. RE is 330 ohms simply. Draw the load line for the network, right? And then you have what? Determine the DC beta, beta. And using the DC beta, find the value of IB. So the characteristics are given, the characteristics are given, let's say whatever are the curves. So you have to draw the load line for this, IC, VCE. So you need to find the two intercepts, right? So you find the two intercepts, what? If VCE is equal to zero, if VCE is equal to zero volts. This would imply what? That IC would come out to be? The saturation current that I told over there. So IC would come out to be what? VCC upon RC plus RE. You are given these three values. You are given these three values. Put them. You have 11.8 milliamperes. 11.8 milliamperes somewhere over here let's say. 11.8. For the next you have the Y intercept. You put IC equal to 0. If you put IC equal to 0. You have VCE equal to VCC directly. VCE would be equal to VCC, which is equal to what in this case? It's 36. 36, let's say, is somewhere over here. 36. So you join these two. You join these two, right? If you have joined these two, you have got the load line. 
you've got the load line so the q point is given somewhere over here right uh, the q point is given somewhere over here so if the q point is given what can you do you can find the icq and the from q point you can find the value of vceq and icq yes yes you can so what do you have the beta would come out to be ic upon ib right so beta is ic upon ib and and wherever is this q point given so that would be at some reference level ib and that ib is ibq right yes q point is given q point is given in the figure so you have what beta is ic upon ib we are finding it at the q point so icq upon ibq and the levels that are given are 6.2 milliamperes and 25 microamperes 6.2 milli and 25 micro the value of beta comes out to be 248 248 is the value of beta now this is that at the q point now what do you have ib you can find from this from this as well the base current you can find from this as well ib we see c you've got vbe you've got re you have got rc plus re you've got beta plus one you put all the equations over here you have a 28 microamperes you have a 28 microamperes is that fine why is the difference lying because beta is somewhere over here and the q point is somewhere over here right yes so you've got ib you can find out ic icq and ibq are vcq are uh, from this from the figure you can do it they are given in the figure the q point is mentioned in the figure so anyways i just i just got through it in a very very speed i'm sorry for that for the speed i'm very sorry but the thing is that <laughs> I just got a little tired I just got a little tired and I have to go somewhere so please check out this example this is the book example the last of the voltage divider please I would just uh, write a homework over here I would write a homework because I've just gone in a very speed the major thing is this one when you're given this sort of this so these are connected in series the capacitor would shot out in the, uh, the capacitor would be open circuit in AC the capacitor is equal to open circuit right so these two would be in series so rb would be the sum of the two r1 and r2 so that is what you need to consider that is it for this configuration that is it for the common collector collector feedback configuration i finish this video over here i will see you in the next video and yes till then take care goodbye